Um, there is an amazing chapter, a coda somewhere in the back, where you find out how human beings finally sensed what they couldn't see. That there is a rainbow of color that we all can see, which are waves of different lengths. They go take you from uh, whatever it's, git b vidbo, roy b viv. So uh, whatever, yeah, roy b viv. Roy, red, roy. Red to, to Repeat after me, roy. Ro red, roy, orange. Roy, g, biv. Ro red, orange, yellow, green, biv. Blue, indigo. Indigo. V, violet. Violet, you got it. But it's weird. I, I, just a quick thing. Um, Roses are red, violets are violet. <laughs> right? Is it, I mean, who, who came up with violets are blue? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> we have a name for that color. <laughs> that was a desperate poet looking for a rhyme, I think. Don't be violating laws of physics just to make the rhyme, okay? <laughs> Uh, I was going to say... You know Mark Twain's edict that I love? What is it? First get your facts straight, then distort them at your leisure. <laughs> the, uh, well, let me just finish this thought, and then I've been commanded I to ask questions. I'm sorry. Um, at the end, there's this, uh, this moment where somebody has to figure out that, that there might be something redder than red or somehow more than violet. Now, we only have eyes, but this particular person used a thermometer. What, what? It was brilliant. It was brilliant. Brilliant. Yeah. Okay.